guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I am going to be tackling a job that is long, long overdue. You're going to hear three noisy little ones in the background. I'm sorry for that, but I I can only film and tackle these faces when I have a chance to, and they're being super good right now. They're just playing all together, so I figured it was a good time to do this little project. So, jumping into the video, I am going to be cleaning and organizing my kitchen drawers. So, these drawers, I tend to accumulate way, way too much um, silverware, like utensils, and then cooking spatulas, and spoons, and all those things, and they end up just like being shoved in the drawer along with things that don't even belong in there, like, no, I don't want your cookie. So they, they eventually just become junk drawers, and it's, I've reached the point where I'm frustrated trying to find stuff, and it just needs to be organized. So that's what I'm working on today. I'm going to keep the organizers or the dividers that I have in the drawers. I might try to rearrange them and see what I can come up with, see if there's a better system that will work for me in the kitchen. So let's get started. I'm going to start by just emptying out all the drawers and then I will give you guys a closer view on how I organize them. So let's get started. Look at all the stuff I managed to fit in those three drawers. Like, this is just way too much for these three, just these three drawers right here. Now I'm going to vacuum inside, clean them up because they're actually really disgusting. And I didn't notice how gross they were actually getting because I keep these, um, these little mats inside that I got from the dollar store. The dollar store has a ton of organizational things. Same with these guys that I'm going to reuse for my drawers. So let's start organizing and cleaning and putting it all back together properly. Okay guys, so the drawers are all washed. They still, another reason I put the liners, when we bought the house, the drawers were damaged like this, like watermarks and 
um, stains and um, it actually looks worse on camera than it is in real life. So it this looks really discolored, but it's, it's not that bad. Not as bad as um, on camera. There's some scratches and stuff up there. That damage was done before we bought the house. So unfortunately, that's what we have until we do renovate our kitchen, my, which might not be anytime soon. And that's another reason I like the liners. It just cleans it up, makes it look a lot more nice. on the edge yeah. we fight and make love at the same time would you break up just because i told you what i did last night i recall the times you said you're sorry but still i'm not sure if you told lies cleaning out my drawers. Um, I'm going to skip through a lot of it because it was actually a little more difficult than I planned. I figured I would empty everything and then just put back what I wanted and what I need and what I use often. Sorry again about the background noise there. Having a blast. So um, that wasn't the case. There was a lot more like planning and I, I set one space up the way I thought it would work but then when I got to the second space I realized well I need that for this and so it was a whole Tetris game but in the end I managed to do it and it only took me 30 minutes so I'm going to take you guys along now and show you how I organized my drawers and I didn't show you the before I just realized that now but um, the mess you saw on the counter was exactly how it was in the drawer. So it was just like shoved in there, cluttered and full of stuff. So let's go and see what they look like now. Okay guys, so I decided to do a voiceover for this part just because the kids were starting to get really loud. But this was my first drawer. And as you can see, I decided to keep most of my phone chargers in here because it's just convenient for us. And my watch charger, I just used a dollar store mug that we don't use for coffee. And I thought it looked really cute to separate the chargers from everything else. I also used this drawer for our measuring cups. And these are all just spatulas and spoons that we use very often when cooking and no matter how I try to organize them I know it's going to end up a mess so I figured it's probably just best if I leave them laid out like that because I don't like them on display on our counter. So in our middle drawer I just used these two wooden dividers that I already had. They were from the dollar store and I just have these two Tupperwares in here because they're so small, I hate having them in the Tupperware cabinet, they always get lost. So these little dividers are perfect for little sections for like measuring spoons, I have my icing um, things, <laughs> I keep all my wooden spoons on the side, and if you're a mom, you must have tons of these, they're just for Tylenol or any medication you have to give the kids so these make perfect dividers for that and the tongs we use quite often so I love having those easy to reach I put the things we use less in the back as well as the Christmas cookie cutters because they're safe back there and it's not Christmas right now so we don't need them up close and then we move on to the final drawer this is our biggest I tried moving the 
forks and spoons closer to the sink. However, it just didn't fit and I wasn't comfortable with it. So I ended up putting it back. I have it all organized. These are the kids' um, forks and spoons that they use on a daily basis at home. And then I have my regular fork, spoons, knives. And back here, these big plastic ones. I probably have too many of them, but they're from Ikea. And they're excellent for packing the kids' lunches or even for Matt and myself to take with us. Because if they get lost, destroyed, it's okay that we get rid of them or lose them. It's not a big deal. And in the back, my husband's a hunter, so I keep all of his knives back there. The kids can't reach it. I stepped back a moment ago to show you guys that the kids can't reach back there, but I also have the rolling pin that I don't use very often. And then to the left, I have all my whisks and um, mixer attachments because the mixer is just below it down here that Ava was slowly pulling out as I was trying to finish cleaning up. So it just makes it easy access to grab that and then to go and grab your attachments. So sorry for the Peppa Pig in the background. You know the kids. You know. You're a mom. I hope you guys enjoyed this little organization mini video. It's something that had to get done and I figured I would share it with you guys. Like I said, it only took about 30, 35 minutes to do. Not that long. The kids were well behaved. It's not like I had them alone for two, three hours trying to be patient because at that point we all lose patience. Kids lose patience, parents lose patience, and you know what, it, it's nice to have organization in a home, especially with kids. It just makes things run more smoothly and it just makes your life so much easier. So I'm really happy I was able to get this done in a pretty short amount of time. And I was able to get rid of a giant bag of knives. I don't know why or how we've accumulated so many. I think when we got our new butcher block, um, I kept all the knives and got rid of the block. I don't know why I did that. It's probably a bit of the hoarder in me that I'm trying to eliminate, but um, got rid of a ton of those. I got rid of, we had these guys are going in our basement. Um, they are just plastic serving spoons. They're excellent for parties and they're top rack dishwasher safe. I did get these at the dollar store, so it's super awesome. They're super handy, but they take up a ton of space for no reason. I don't use these every day. They're just really for parties when we're serving and things like that. So I got rid of a ton of those, a ton of party um, platter serving things that we don't use on a daily basis. So there's no need for that to be in the kitchen. And I'm really, I'm really satisfied with how it is. It still looks a bit cluttered, but you know what? I think we use majority of these things and I've only got three drawers for that stuff in my entire kitchen. My other drawers has bibs and towels in it, so I do what I can do. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I post videos every Tuesday and Friday when I can. Usually I try my best. And um, I'd love to have you join my YouTube family. Have a great weekend everyone and I will see you guys Tuesday with a pretty interesting kitchen organization video that you might want to check out. So make sure that bell notification is on so you will be notified of it. See you guys then.